Do you know what's really handy? <laughs> when your husband comes home from work early, right a little bit late for lunchtime, but in time for lunch because I didn't eat yet, and we get to go on a little mini date during the day. The kids are all off playing, and the, the smoke quality is still pretty bad, so parents are kind of letting kids bump between different garages and wearing their masks. We should go and check on them real quick. Yeah, I think they're over in the corner. It's also handy because I got into the passenger side over here and, and I was like, oh, my car could use a little vacuuming out. He's like, oh, I'll do that today. <laughs> comes in handy when your husband comes home from work early. There's no point in cleaning the outside of the car even though I really, really want to. It's so bad. We need to get spray it and stuff like that. Yeah, but there's no point. Go that way. I am going to. Um, but there's no point with the smoke. Got to let it clear out and rain tomorrow and Friday. And then we can wash That's everything. Right. Like, I want to wash the sheets and the window wells. And anyway, I um, gotta go find the kids here real quick. All right, so we are sitting in the Cafe Rio parking lot and just ordered our food. Let's see, skip. It'll be ready in like 10 minutes. So we're just here contemplating the end of the world. <laughs> We're, we're, we're trying to we're, figure out we're not how to manage a business and a family when you have a pandemic that is probably going to come back. Yes. Well, it's never right. gone away. Yep. And they've all said from the very beginning it might come back worse than worse. So how to manage that. Yep. No matter how you look at it, who you're in favor of or not in favor of for the election. This is US going to be another election. cluster. Yes. Uh, with probably the biggest civil unrest we've ever seen in the country, no matter which way it goes. Yes. Um, half the people will think it's illegitimate no matter what it is. Um, yes. And we literally have government people telling people to get ammunition to fight the other side. Okay, he's gonna, he's going <laughs> off. This is the conversation I'm not wanting to have with him because he gets so riled up. But it is bringing up the topic of, and the fires have brought up the topic of preparedness. And... 72 hour kits. I was talking to one of you guys today about 72 hour kits and being able to grab them and go. People in these fires down in Oregon, especially in California, literally left without anything, like clothes on their back and had to just get in the car with their kids and dogs and leave the state because they didn't have time. It got me having a chat with one of you guys about my 72 hour kits, how we've gone through them all and used all the supplies in them. Well, we, we used all the food. We pulled out all the food before it expired and used it, and then I didn't re, I didn't redo Resupply. all the bags, yeah. So I'm, it's, this conversation has got us thinking about like redoing those bags and stockpiling again. We stockpiled a lot of groceries and food storage at the beginning of all this back in March, if you guys remember. And it's just got us thinking about doing that again and then it just keeps you so you don't yeah. have to go out to the grocery store when, whether it's, you know, fear of sickness or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, not, lot, yeah. it's not all like... We don't have much of a threat here in the Seattle area. We don't have... Threat, oh, fires? Yeah, we don't have threat of fires or, I mean, We're it, in a earthquakes. City. If you're in a city, you're probably not going to have big wide fires. It's more the rural right. areas. Like, I mean, think of all the areas in California where maybe they were farming things or maybe they were doing stuff and now those crops are gone. Maybe the distribution center doesn't have the people. I mean, they said one in every 10 Oregonian had to evacuate. Yeah. Those people probably had jobs that got interrupted, which means whatever they did got slowed down. So all those There's, products- It's a steamroll effect. Things. It's It could have lasting consequences for everyone. So anyway, that's kind of what we're talking about. It's not fun really stuff, like- Fun stuff. Yeah, like a chipper conversation. <laughs> But unfortunately, it's an adult conversation. It's one we have to have and, you know. Any ideas you guys have down below? Um, you know, like how do you guys prepare for, because yeah. we don't live in like hurricane areas yeah, we or don't. tornado areas. I mean, how do you- But Utah isn't prepare? either. And they literally just had hurricane winds up oh, and down yeah, the entire right. Wasatch Front. Yeah. I mean, a hundred mile- punishing them. <laughs> 100 mile an hour winds that just blew through the entire Wasatch Front and just obliterated the cities. 
took down trees Big that are 40 trees? years that, old and well, 40s nothing some of those trees are like hundreds of years old yeah like anyway it's just crazy so anything can happen anywhere it's like if tw if it's gonna happen this is the year this is the year mother nature's gonna like i was telling yeah, slap us. I, I was telling the subscriber today i was like if rainier is gonna blow this is the year for Rainier to blow. Yeah, I told the guy this morning, I'm like, the only other thing I can see being a problem that hasn't already been a problem is like an earthquake around here. Yeah, and that would be, the only way we would have an earthquake is if the volcano blows. Well, no, we have major fault lines that can happen. Yeah, but it, it, well, if the, volcano, if the earthquake happens, then I think that would trigger the volcano. I don't know, either way, it's not, I mean, that's the only other natural disaster thing that like, I mean, up here, Pier 58 in Seattle. Did you hear this? It just collapsed. Just collapsed. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I tell you, if it's gonna happen in at all, it's gonna happen here. So this brings me to one of an, another one of our subscribers who has a trip planned with his family next year. Um, just know that like the pier that just fell into the water is right next to the Great Wheel, and what? I don't know. Is yeah, it is, and the aquarium, because that's where he wants to go. I know, but it doesn't mean all the piers are gonna. No, it doesn't water. mean that. It doesn't mean that, but it just means that that area is in construction now. It just uh, means that like that is, you know. Is that an old pier? Yeah, I mean, it was. was it they were use? getting ready to. I don't know if they were getting ready to take down that pier or another one, because um, of the, all the construction that they did down there for the 99 viaduct. But there is one that they were gonna get ready to take out. Well, anyway. Cheaper to have it just fall down. <laughs> he's such a. He's such an optimist. I am. Genuinely not. He's not. He's 100% no, pessimistic. Not. I'm not a pessimist. I you are. I know you analyze and I say, think. what could go wrong? And okay. then I try to prepare I'm going to cut it. him off. I don't say, it's all going to go wrong. We're all screwed. You do. I just say, there's a potential for us to be screwed. What can we do to be to the prepare. least screwed? I know. It's just done with Dude, the... if I could smoke weed and chill, I would, but I can't, so. <laughs> I wish I you could chill. I, can, I can't even exercise. I know. I think he needs to get out and exercise to kind of burn off some of this stuff, but he can't. No, I mean a friend of ours Sorry. went on a hike. We're, we're at six minutes. Let's just let this go for a second. You need to like get some Cafe Rio and chill. I'm fine with letting it go. You turn it off anytime you want. All right, we are going to go and eat our Cafe Rio in this very festive fall themed park. We are, normally we would have just gone home, but Abby has requested us to get her some Red Robin, the pub mac and cheese. And seeing as though she doesn't like, she doesn't get takeout a lot of times. She doesn't like these salads from Cafe Rio. She doesn't like Panda Express. Did they she give doesn't. Us forks? Well, please tell me they brought forks. I always get forks. And the one time we're eating out, they don't give us forks. Oh, here we go. Good. She doesn't get any of the eat out food that we get. What's this for? Is this sauce for your stuff? Yeah. That's like necessary. That's like necessary. Yeah, can you get it out? Oh. I'm just chump change. Go ahead, have your burrito. Okay. You got your own fork I put and it your own right in front knife. of you. Oh, I thought there were two forks here. I didn't realize I only got it for me. <laughs> it's right in front of you. I put it by your feet. Again, chump change. Okay, we're gonna go eat. You don't want to see this. It's these, <laughs> these salads are very messy to eat. Yeah, they're a little messy. Well, we can show what you got. You got the burrito. The sweet, sweet pulled pork. pork. Yeah, sweet pork. Burrito. Burrito. I don't do burritos. So I got the steak salad, and it is delicious. Explain what happened then. Well, I guess I punched a hole in the bottom, so now it's leaked all over me, so we got to go home after this. <laughs> Gosh. These salads are not... No, Once you eat in the car, like not at all. I need that bad. All right, my girls are in there and they won't even come out to say hi. Shake your feet or something. Say hi, mom. Say hi. They're hanging out there with popsicles. <laughs> Socially distanced. Bye. <laughs> Man, we're chump change. They wouldn't even like get out of their chairs to come say hi to us. They're just all socially distant, sitting in their own chairs, eating their own popsicles. <laughs> anyway, and the garage was like half open. Not even half open. Because it's still smoky skies. I just barely smelled it really for the first time, but I, it looks like it's bad. But It's gotten mildly better, but it's yeah, still, still not good. bad visibility. And, yeah. Uh, we can still stare almost directly at the sun. 
Yeah, it was peeking through today. Oh, yeah, right there. But, yeah. It is 6.30. It's been a long time since we picked up a camera before. Jason is out driving with Kaylee. For some reason, she's all amped up to learn how to drive lately, which is good. It gets her out of the house and learning something new. I have been working on the computer and watching shows and kind of playing it lazy because I don't have anything to do. Caught up on videos except for today's video. I've been trying to think of some more videos to get kind of caught up and a little bit more ahead because I have some things coming up that I need to be ahead on to save myself some time because I won't be able to edit for a couple days. I'm just trying to think of some videos to get up for you guys to be entertained. And my kids really aren't, she doesn't mind, They don't, but the other ones are really not wanting to be on camera right now for some reason right chelsea's not really wanting to be on yeah. but you do you you'll be my little youtube buddy well like you did like a video about you scaring any one of us i know i should do another scare oh it's october <laughs> don't tell anyone should we do scare videos again in october that's like the perfect for halloween i remember you doing it. Do it yeah yeah we're totally doing scare videos okay Ashley's gonna go get ready for bed. Here, take your watch. Actually, I'll leave the watch down here. It worked. The alarm went off, they waited a few minutes, and then they came home. So they did a good job today, good job. And yet, that's not where that goes. And I asked you to go up and get ready for bed. But I have. Yes, you can have 20 minutes of screen time, you can but come I brush my hair. Have, but I have some food left that I wanna eat. Then go eat it. She's the one who got down from the table. <laughs> I don't get it. Kinda had a haphazard dinner tonight because Jason and I ate those salads so late in the afternoon and Kaylee had made her lunch while we were gone and then we picked up the, the Red Robin for Abby. Had an off time for meals today with Jason coming home but that's okay. I'll probably get hungry for the other half of my salad in a little bit. But I'm gonna call it a night. I've actually been kinda filing my nails and getting them prepped to do just the gel nails on them tomorrow. But I actually might start tonight. I didn't realize it's not even seven o'clock and I don't, I don't have anything to do. So I might as well go sit in front of Netflix and do my nails. So I'm gonna end this video. It's just a little bit different. I wasn't even planning on filming today, but with Jason home, it's always fun to like go out and about. And you guys like our banter. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But uh, I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and we'll see you guys next time.